Hey guys, so so today I will be filming a mukbang. Look what we got. Well, I ate one, so. And I will be talking about my social anxiety. Because that's real, you guys. Okay. So I ordered, two, I ordered one spicy what's it called i forgot one spicy tuna one spicy salmon i think they both are like spicy tunas So basically, my social anxiety is literally just me. It only happens when I'm like, when I have to present something, like, in front of a class. But yeah, only happens when I have to present in front of a classroom, like, tomorrow is Monday. Like, I don't even know. Let me tell you what happens. Basically, it's so bad. Like, I will literally start crying out of the way. I can't control it. It's not like I just, I don't know, I just bust out crying. And like it's just so embarrassing. So then everybody just know you as a girl. That will cry in front of the whole class. Like this all happened. I it started freshman year. Eighth grade, I never had to present anything. I barely even learned anything in the least. But I barely I didn't have to present anything in eighth grade. But like in high school. That's when I realized I had social anxiety. But it's basically just me overthinking. Because it's not like I'm up, up in front of the classroom. I'm prepared. Don't know what I'm saying. Don't know what I'm going to present. When I do know, I just overthink because I don't even know. I don't know why. I just bust out crying. Especially if I'm by myself, that's the worst. Like, I literally can't. Like, I will cry and present at the same time. That's what I did. It's just so embarrassing. It's just so embarrassing. And then you gotta see the, these people for the rest of the year. And I hate when I try to explain this to someone like one of my friends. I'm not saying that all my friends like this, but they just don't understand the way they can't relate. Like, yeah, y'all get nervous, but y'all don't got that social anxiety. Y'all just nervous. I like even think about it. Even my group mates was talking about going over there and presenting. I just felt so anxious, like, it'd be horrible, like, I, and then, like, I ordered some pills, some, like, CBD gummies, which basically helps with, CBD is, like, it's not weed, it's, like, it's hemp, so it's basically the part of weed that don't make you high, it's basically, people say it's good for anxiety, so that's why I bought some, the whole time, though. Bought it from Amazon. They showed up at the door. Nobody answered. And now 
something happened to my gas and now I'm getting a refund. So I was really counting on these gummies to help me get through the presentation throughout the day too. Plus also, I'm in a group of people who pretty known in school, yeah. I mean, I already know I'm going to have my stuff together, but I'm just not good at presenting. Y'all yeah, playing with Sabi on top of y'all sushi. Smack. Hey. I don't want to be the one embarrassing us. Like, every time I get in front of a group, I, my voice is shaking like and I sound like I'm about to cry because I do. I'm on the verge of I'm on the verge of tears. But like I said, it's way worse when I'm by myself because that's when I actually start to cry. Like what I usually do is just like look up. Well, not even just like that. Like try to, like depending on the class. I, well, from when I'm gonna be if you present slides, I will look at the board, but not read. Or like look at the wall, not look at everyone. <sighs> it's just the worst because then you standing up there a little extra longer too, just because people gonna have questions. Then the teacher be thinking you got something going on at home. When you don't. I just want to tell anybody else who feel like this. I don't, I like, nobody else, like, people be nervous, but nobody else cried in front of the classroom. From my knowledge, I'm pretty sure. And then, you know, people in the class just know you as a quiet girl. But I really don't want to embarrass myself, that's why. I'll be overthinking. This is my mirror right here, so. That's why I be overthinking. I feel like I can't bring it up because the advice people give me just demeans it, basically. It demeans my feelings, so that's why I, I try to figure it out on my own. That's why I bought the gummies, but that obviously ain't work, so I'm going to just have to buy them again. My midterm for school is a all commentary. So I, uh, so this one Monday, this one tomorrow, this one is a group or commentary, which I say I'm easier, I'm better in groups. I mean, I'm still nervous, still not about to cry. Might even cry, but that one is better. I'm better in groups. In groups, they try to put groups first so you can get used to it. When like presenting a group and presenting by yourself is two different things, two whole different things. You can't get used to it by presenting a group. Some people good at presenting. Some people got that little attitude where they talk out loud and don't care, you know? One of the people in my group like that. Not me, though. I don't got no friends in my English class, like I said. So it's not it's not going to be easy. That's, the, that's like it every time. It's not really easy. I always have problems. Then if you don't do it, you're going to fail. So that's like horrible. And this, like, I remember freshman year when I first realized it. <laughs> I had drama. And we had to do a monologue. So basically, just us. I was good in the group, still nervous, still something about to cry. But as soon as I'm by myself, bawling, teacher thought something was wrong, whole time though, anxiety. I'm like, nothing wrong at home, nothing was wrong. Nothing is wrong at home. It's just anxiety. So, I used to try to ask. My anxiety was worse freshman year, though. The worst. It was the worst because that's when I realized what it was. Realized that was the first time I ever had it, I think. Okay, so now that I just remember that, that wasn't the first time that I ever had been. The first time I ever had been, I didn't realize what it was, obviously. <laughs> I was in eighth grade, and we had we had to do this project, right, for science, for the science class. Then the teacher picked the best um, project to submit them into the science fair, you know, encouraging the students. You should do it, because what if you win? Blah, blah, blah. Well, I do that, right? I'm at the school by myself. 
obviously I only had like two friends in eighth grade you know so I made the school all by myself there and yeah it was just that's when that was the first time I ever started crying while presenting something you know I just went through the snare I just remember this is actually the first time but I forgot about it obviously but yeah to do a monologue for what's it what's that book called Romeo and Juliet so we had to do that um I had my I memorized my monologue headed down could do it at home as soon as I get there in front of the class crying bawling my eyes out then the worst part was they was recording they recorded like I don't know first of all I don't know why they recorded like I don't want to watch none of that back it's just so embarrassing and so it made me hate myself honestly like why would I, yeah, like sometimes, just even think about it, I'm like, and she all like, I'm trying to ask my English teacher, oh, can I do this after class? Like, you know, after everybody leaves, so it's just me and you, so I'm more comfortable instead of present in front of 30 something people. Nope, what she say, because this is going to help me. No, it did not help me, ma'am. It did not help me, honestly. Because I really can't, I still can't present to this day. I don't feel any better. I literally did any, nothing. If anything, it did worse than what you was expecting me to do. Because not like, oh, I cried in front of the class. Let me just snap back next year. No, it wasn't like that. So I went, yeah, I didn't have to do anything. But like, with my Romeo and Juliet monologue, I was literally up there crying and saying the freaking monologue, saying the script. Which is so embarrassing. Then it was like a final. So like that was the last thing. It's just horrible. I just feel horrible. Because just even thinking about it. And like talking about it. I'm just like. This is shrimp I roll. My piece of shrimp in here. We bought a tarot deck. Deck. <laughs> deck. I recently bought a tarot deck, so basically, I, honestly, I think I'm going to do a whole nother video on it, but so far, my readings, I just need to memorize, I don't want to memorize the cards like exactly, but you know, like have some type of general, like bullet points, you know, it is hard to present in front of the class, it's the worst. I'm going to do one of my fortune cookies. So, this one says, oh, I'm about to read the dumb part. Aspire to be great, then help others. A little underwhelming, but I guess, <laughs> I mean, I guess I'll help others. So, you know, I gotta go, you guys, but thank you guys so much for watching, like, for real. Even, like, even if y'all don't see nothing, this really matters to me, too. Thank you guys. Bye bye. Also, sorry I haven't been doing K-pop videos. I don't have an excuse, but sorry. <laughs> yeah.